Anyone that knows of me knows I'm a man of many hats. They complete me. They tell you I have a style and I don't like the sun at least one of my eyes. That being said, I decided to explore the coolest lids in video games. Let's get started. Five. First, can we just talk about how swag nominal Parappa looks when it's rhyme he spits? <laughs> I have to admit, I had no plan for that line. I freestyled it. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> swag, swag, swag. I honestly believe the reason those Kids Bop songs from the PlayStation Classic Parappa the Rapper earned so much street cred is because of the traffic cone orange colored beanie on Parappa's head. It was so iconic and dope, I wanted one. I'm pretty sure selling them was the best merchandising deal on the table. Even now, if you go on eBay for about 50 pounds, which is like 80 something dollars, you can buy a Parappa beanie. Even now, Parappa is keeping it hip hop because only a real baller is gonna pay over $80 for a damn beanie. No. Four. If the sorting hat from Harry Potter had a sentient sister hat, I'm pretty sure it'd be I Know's hat from Guilty Gear. Have you even played Guilty Gear? Do you know what it is? What a heavy day. Guilty. It can summon demon subwoofers, shoot magical death beams, and it has a mouth with just, just such a, a beautiful smile and personality. I'm sure it sings songs just like the Hogwarts sorting hat does as well by guessing from Iano's rock saunter. I'm so confident the hat only does like Led Zeppelin songs and maybe a couple of My Chemical Romance songs and I'm okay with that. Boom pal. And if you didn't know the sorting hat from Harry Potter sang songs, then maybe you should read a book because that sh is fundamental. Three. For ages, people around the world have been trying to figure out how to be a solid sir. And I do say Zatanna has got it down. The fact that it's a cool hat only covers like 23% of the cool factor. The other 77% comes from the fact that it's like real life magic in silk. It's like a high top gentleman's cap of magicery. And I want it. She pulls all sorts of things out of the head hole like rabbits, swords, dildos. The best magic she does is when a weave is messed up. <laughs> she patted a little bit, put on a hat, don't trip boo boo, the magical hat got you. Two. I really like Kung Lao's hat, it's pretty damn cool. I just wonder who the hell woke up one day and thought, hmm, it would be great to put a chakra blade around the brim of a giant ass hat. Somebody's bound to buy it. <laughs> Confidence. Imagine Glee on his sweaty blacksmithing face when he got an Amazon order for a Shaolin Temple delivery from some dude named Kung. I'm sure the hat's heavy, so the shipping rates to China must have been like super bitch, but going off a of Kung Lao survival rate, the purchase was super duper worth it. One. I can tell you this with confidence coming from North Philly. Anyone walking into a fight knowing their headpiece has more muscles in one arm than their opponent has in their whole body must be just so smug and confident. Sarah Bella from Skull Girls, if you haven't played it, has super every right to be. She has a horn hat with a face and hulked out arms. If you think about it, she is essentially wearing the upper torso of a steroid abusing alien bodybuilder. There's a vision for you, and I'm jealous. I'd love to have the upper torso of a female alien on my head. All right, wait, wait, saying that out loud, I now completely understand how terrifying that sounds, but whatever, because hashtag YOLO, hashtag you just jealous, hashtag alien headdress girlfriend, I got a date later, and she's got muscles. Mm. Hang on to your hat. I'll cut you down to size. There you have it, my top five hats. That's just my opinion. You could disagree if you want to. Did I miss a cool ass hat that's just a little bit more than the hat? No, the Super Mario Brothers hats don't count. They're not cool. Let's nip that in the booty hole right now. Let me know what you think on Twitter, at Flitz. Thanks for watching, young, young humans. Until next time.